Amazon just announcing a new partnership with Silicon Valley darling Databricks. Five-year deal in which the startup will use Amazon's custom AI chips to power its model training. Our Kate Rooney has that story for today's Tech Check. Hey, Kate. Hey, Carl. Good morning. So this is really part of Amazon's long-term strategy in AI. It's looking to compete with NVIDIA for custom semiconductors by offering a cheaper option here. And it's trying to keep its position as a top cloud provider as Microsoft and Google are trying the same strategy. As part of this five-year deal, you mentioned Databricks has agreed to use Amazon's custom chips. They're called Tranium AI chips, and they're going to power the training of Databricks AI models. For context, that's going to help companies customize their AI models or build their own. So Databricks, as part of that, bought Mosaic ML last year for $1.3 billion. And the big draw here to Amazon chips, its costs. So consensus in Silicon Valley, at least, has been that Amazon's chips, they're not as powerful, at least as NVIDIA's, which has been the gold standard. You've seen it reflected in NVIDIA's stock price, but they're also expensive. So Amazon's Tranium is seen as the discount version. Amazon says customers pay 40% less than they would if they used other hardware out there. I talked to Dan Ives of Wedbush this morning. He told me because Amazon is relatively new at this, their chips, quote, don't sell themselves. So Amazon has really gone in this partnership route. In addition to Databricks, which was announced this morning, they've struck deals with SAP and Anthropic. They're also an investor in Anthropic to train AI models, says the Databricks deal. It's another stamp of approval for Amazon's chips, and he expects a lot more partnerships with some of the major software companies, maybe even some M&A in the chip space for Amazon. We'll see. But all of this is key to Amazon competing in AI. You can think of it as sort of a marathon race. So OpenAI, Microsoft, Google may have won the first 10 miles of the race, at least with their large language models. Amazon has been in the race, but this infrastructure layer and this play here with custom silicon and data centers, how they could pull ahead, at least in the back half of the marathon, guys. And I'm guessing, Kate, this is important for Amazon because it points to the engine of their overall business model, unlike, say, North American retail, let's say. That's right. Amazon Web Services, Carl, is so key to the whole Amazon story at this point. That's why they're really considered a tech company in addition to, to being a major player in e-commerce, of course. So Amazon Web Services, it's the higher margin profit engine side of the business. And they really want to stay relevant, in, especially in artificial intelligence, where it's been sort of a question on Wall Street of are they winning? Are they not? Executives there, Andy Jassy, has said publicly, you know, we are trying to be sort of the third party agnostic player. Chips is going to be a huge part of how they could potentially win this. And then, of course, data centers, cloud computing, and that really is their bread and butter at this point. And it's key going forward to the bull case when it comes to Amazon. So many partnerships and tie-ups, you know, from <laughs> nuclear true. to chip. And um, competition, guys. They also compete. Yeah. They, they compete with NVIDIA, but they're offering their clients NVIDIA chips. So it's sort of this delicate balance you see in Silicon Valley where they're competing with everyone, but they're also kind of friends. It's, it's confusing. Right, frenemies. Yeah, frenemies. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Kate Rooney.